Kiss for Little Bear by Elsa Minerick. This picture makes me happy, said Little Bear. Hello, Hen. This picture is for Grandmother. Will you take it to her, Hen? Yes, I will, said Hen. Grandmother was happy. This kiss is for Little Bear, she said. Will you take it to him, Hen? I will be glad to, said Hen. Then Hen saw some friends. She stopped to chat. Hello, Frog. I have a kiss for Little Bear. It is from his grandmother. Will you take it to him, Frog? Okay, said Frog. But Frog saw a pond. He stopped to swim. Hi, Cat. I have a kiss for Little Bear. It is from his grandmother. Take it to him, will you, Cat? Hi, here I am in the pond. Come in and get the kiss. Ugh, said Cat, but he came and got the kiss. Cat saw a nice place to sleep. Little Skunk, I have a kiss for Little Bear. It is from his grandmother. Take it to him like a good little skunk. Little Skunk was glad to do that, but then he saw another little skunk. She was very pretty. He gave the kiss to her, and she gave it back. And he gave it back. And then Hen came along. Too much kissing, she said. But this is Little Bear's kiss from his grandmother, said Little Skunk. Indeed, said Hen. Who has it now? Little Skunk had it. Hen got it back. She ran to Little Bear and she gave him the kiss. It is from your grandmother, she said. It is for the picture you've sent her. Take one back to her, said Little Bear. No, said Hen. It gets all mixed up. The skunks decided to get married. They had a lovely wedding. Everyone came. and Little Bear was best man. Why does Grandmother send a kiss for Little Bear? Who carries the kiss to Little Bear? How does it get mixed up? What happens when the kiss gets mixed up?